All right, folks, it is August 3rd, 2013. Uh, it has now come out in mainstream U.S. and British news, confirming what our sources told you one week after the Benghazi attack in 2012, that they were just getting rid of witnesses from the State Department that knew about al-Qaeda being given heat-seeking missiles. That's now in the Associated Press. That's now in the London Telegraph. You name it. This broke yesterday morning, a little more than 24 hours ago. And already they are announcing that al-Qaeda is going to attack embassies all over North Africa and the Middle East. Folks, the criminals that run our government run al-Qaeda, help create it. They've been arming them in Libya and Syria. This is a total false flag. Whether there's an attack or not, it's a psychological false flag to divert everyone. Um, this is so important. I'm going to go into the office this Saturday, shoot a professional report showing all the documentation. We'll have it up by tonight, and I'll be on the radio tomorrow, 4 to 6, on the Sunday show, Central, to cover this. But this is a big deal. Uh, let me just show you here some of the articles. You see that? U.S. issues global terror threat, uh, and they say that terror attack basically is imminent. Here is a, another report from Fox News saying that. And then here is the London Telegraph, uh, you can go read, where they talk about heat-seeking missiles. Heat-seeking missiles that were being transferred. It's on record, Al-Qaeda now has those. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the reality of what's going on here. This is a total distraction. They may even have their Al-Qaeda forces that they've armed attack some embassies that they've already evacuated so Obama can pose as a savior and confuse people that aren't really paying attention. This is a big deal. It's all up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, and we'll do a special Infowars Nightly News report tonight that will be up on the site for everybody uh, coming up. And I'm going to get Kurt Nemo to do a report on this as well. I know he's on uh, this weekend. Alex Jones signing off for now.